place like in Burlington, Vermont, sometimes you encounter him and you can learn so much from him. There's a yid in Burlington that once he sat by a and at that point he wasn't childless. Barely coming out of the film. But heard about, so when you're talking about riding to the Red River, going to the Oihel, getting answers from the Red River. And he decided that whenever he has a problem, he rides to the Red And he told me, whenever, whenever I go to New York, I should let him know. And I tell him, I'm going to New York today. He write me, write something down, he tapes it. I should please put it by the way. So a few, few years ago, we were for Brainy. And he turns, we were a bunch of you guys, and he turns to us and he says, I want to tell you something. Since I started to write to the river, I have no problems. Whenever I write to him, I get an answer. This is an ish pashut b'yoysel. And it's pashut, it's amazing. Whenever I write to the Rebbe, everything takes care of me. So here's something very interesting. Just last week, happens to be, he's also, he's a construction. We're building a new addition to our Chabad house. And uh, taking a little bit too long. It's just all health and the greatest help that should be done very soon. But he's in charge of the construction. So I come to visit to see. He takes me on the side. He says, something is bothering me. But I would like to know what you think. Okay, this is what he's going to ask. He says, this is my problem. Tell you again, this is an each question be used. It says, I write to the Rebbe. But the way I write to the Rebbe, I write to the Rebbe. Dear Rebbe and God. So I want to know, I want to know, is that right what I'm doing? Should I do things different? What he means is, dear Rebbe and God. Well, that's how he writes. So I told him, you get answers for everything. There's no question. It's like, no, I wouldn't tell you to change anything. Just leave it down. But to me, not a person that learned to say this or did anything. It's much of an ish posh of Be'yosem. And he, he has this algasha. He has this feeling. It's unbelievable. When I talk to him sometimes, there's a problem with this. Okay, I'll write to the Rebbe. He says, you're going to write to the Rebbe? Yes, I'm going to write to the Rebbe. And you'll see. When I write to the Rebbe, everything will fall into place. That Emunah Pshuta, I have to tell you, for us, when we grew up, we grew up by the Rebbe, we grew up on Shlichus, we are on Shlichus. To hear that kind of approach, that kind of thing from an Aish Koshin Beyosa, if you could say, blew my mind up. When he asked me the question, I was kind of speechless. Time of time, we should be able to live with the Rebbe, think about the Rebbe. Time of time. Since I mentioned before, a few Medidas uh, Habaruptas, so these are a few known stories, but it doesn't hurt to repeat it as we're sitting here. 
and my uh, parents went on shlichus to Morocco. So it was very important to my father right away after the kids were born that he has to bring his children to the Rebbe. Born in Dovshnei right after the For the way it was in those years, every two years, they had permission to Shluchim to go to the Rebbe. We took turns. My father came to Dovshnei So the first time he was able to go to the Rebbe was Dovshnei days. Tishrei Tavshin or Tishrei Tavshin Chafalev, he already was Patsy, how could I not go? And he wrote to the Rebbe, can you please, can I please come to Tavshin Chafalev? The Rebbe said, Sigo Asedo, sorry, two years. He changed later on, but that's how it was. He was very happy that he went to Beis, went to Dalit. Chav Hei was the turn of a Shloyim Matasov to go. Something happened. I don't know the details, but he couldn't go. He couldn't travel. So he asked my father to go. My father was always thankful that he, he was able to go because he had a special connection with the Rebbe Tzachana. And uh, he was there, of Shekhafei, of Tisha Tav Shekhafei. But anyways, so Tav Shekhaf Zayin, he was coming for Tisha Tav Shekhaf Zayin, so he convinced my mother that he's going to take his oldest kid, who was almost six, that I will come. There's very little I remember from Tav Shekhaf Zayin. There's a few things I remember. I do remember waking up in the morning on the benches in Sebsemdi upstairs. Because my father would for brain every night so he would put me to sleep. But here's a very interesting moment, a story I have. Simchas Leil Simchas Teil by the Fabrenia. I don't remember it, but I know a side thing I remember because the little Shapiro told me that when I looked in the Sikhs, there was a whole Sikh about Shlichas. And the Rebbe then spoke about the idea of a Meshalis. The Rebbe then spoke that the Alter Rebbe was a Meshalis by the Magi. And because he was a Meshavist by the Magi, he was Zeichet to see the Baal Shem Tov. That was spoke about. So the Rebbe then spoke about the Shluchim. This is besides the idea of the three Madreges and Shluchas. The Rebbe spoke about how in Shluchas is also the idea that you are a Meshavist. Uh, not only that, that everyone then spoke amongst themselves, there must be, because there are not too many Guests came, whatever, my father then came from Morocco. But here was in the middle, the, the Rebbe was talking, it was very, very pushy. It was downstairs, what's called in the Shalash. I don't remember all the details. I only remember it was very, very pushy. The Rebbe is speaking, and I lost the shoe. I lost the shoe. And I remember I started to cry. I was crying. And the Rebbe was in the middle of talking. The Rebbe stopped and looked. Shmeichel continued. But here's the interesting thing. It's been written about this. I can hear it, uh, as you say, from Malka uh, Yerusha. In those days, you went in on Yechidus twice. When you came, when you came, and then when you left. When, when you came, Tavchik of Zayim, after a few days we went in Yechidus and then I was living, we went in the second time. As we walked in on Yechidus, 
Because the, this I remember. Anything else I remember. The door opened. I walked in with my father, the Rebbe looked, he turned to me. Did you find your shoe? Now, think about this. So the stir, the amount of crowd that was there. Here, the Rebbe talks about the shliach, the shliach's kid. Then the Rebbe turned to me from, what am I learning? He says, I'm learning Chumash. So, I said, I just started on Breshis. The Rebbe wanted to know if I could translate Breshis well in Arabic. I remember I started in the beginning, I got stuck in the middle, but the Rebbe smiled all the way. Huh? I'm still looking for it. Well, you can the Rebbe, no? Huh? I didn't answer the Rebbe. No, you're a schmitz. 